Chromatography is a separation uh, technique. And um, it's where the molecules are distributed between two phases. The two phases are called stationary phase, often is a resin, and a mobile phase or eluent. So the principle behind chromatography is based on the uh, strength of intermolecular forces experienced in each phase. So um, basic principle that you need to remember here is are your IMFA, intermolecular forces of attraction, uh, like your London forces, dipole-dipole, uh, hydrogen bonding, and so on and so forth. So generally speaking, um, uh, stationary phase, that's why it's called stationary is because it's not moving, it's just stationary. Um, so in chromatography, you introduce your um, sample, the mobile phase is continuously flowing through your, uh, your stationary phase, and anything that is, has stronger interaction with your stationary phase tend to hang out in your, uh, in your stationary phase longer than the ones that have weaker interaction. So in this diagram here, the green ones have, um, are, uh, have stronger IMFA with the stationary phase compared to the blue one. So the blue ones will show first on your chromatogram, followed by the, uh, the green ones. So they don't stay there forever because you have a mobile phase. So you, you, uh, the mobile phase is like your um, carrier solvent uh, all throughout the analysis. So it's a very the general procedure is very similar to spectroscopy except invo it involves a um, sample separation in between um, into different uh, components. So there are many types of chromatographic techniques like your spectroscopic techniques, and I will only be covering three of them uh, this morning. So uh, the first type of uh, chromatography is uh, is based on the uh, chromatographic bed shape. So it could be a column chromatography or a planar chromatography. So in column chromatography, um, it's uh, station the stationary bed is within a, a, a glass tube or a plastic tube. Whereas in planar chromatography, uh, the stationary phase is present as or on a plane. So like your paper chromatography and thin layer chromatography. You can also classify chromatography based on the uh, physical state of the mobile phase. So gas chrome or GC, uh, mobile phase is a gas. And then liquid chromatography is where the mobile phase is a liquid. And the final group is based on separation mechanism. So you have ion exchange chromatography, which separates the analytes based on their respective charges. And then size exclusion chromatography, which separates the analytes based on their size. 